Welcome to the third and final installment of Automotive Insights, sponsored by Omni ID. Today, we're bringing you details on the latest technologies the companies are investing in to make next generation cars. Back in August, Ford's North American manufacturing chief said that his mandate is to squeeze as much production as possible out of his company's existing plants. He's quoted as saying, I have never said, boss, we can't get another one out. He's confident that even the plant's near maximum utilization could be pushed to produce more cars than ever before and at higher standards. This is incredibly important, as we explained last week, due to the way the big three automakers seem to still prefer manufacturing in the Rust Belt, while foreign automakers have staked out the Southeast for a strong, less expensive, and less unionized labor force. Ford's sales alone jumped from 1.7 million in 2009 to 2.2 million last year. And as we all know, global demand is rising even faster. Training new hires, especially in an era where fewer get manufacturing-focused educations, is more important than ever. Ford is training up 1,400 new employees at its Flat Rock assembly plant with a so-called simulated factory. By breaking each job down to its basics in a non-critical area, these trainees can get personalized, hands-on training. A buddy system with a plant veteran ensures that these new hires can handle their work. Even freshly graduated college students who only dabbled in retail work were able to get a hang of assembly work quickly. Easing those concerns is going to be critical as more baby boomers leave the industry. These companies are also investing in rapid prototyping, which could dramatically reduce speed to market. Ford has a technology that is capable of producing stamping molds in three days versus up to six months in its conventional methods. And GM recently utilized 3D printing in the quick redesign of its Chevrolet Malibu. Using a stereolithography process rather than traditional clay, the company could rapidly iterate on a new floor console, which now features smartphone holders for the driver and passenger. GM is also pushing some interesting aspects of automation to their limits. The company is investing heavily in R&D for automated guided carts, also known as AGCs, to move heavy loads around their plants with a higher level of safety. They're completely autonomous, so it frees up personnel to work on other tasks. In fact, the technology is so effective, it's being licensed to manufacturers outside of the automotive space. Chrysler's recent investment in its Toledo Jeep plant means more investment in robotics. That's 963 robots, to be exact, all synchronized on a single enterprise-wide design to make installation easier. The company has said that a new welding station can be installed in about an hour, which is a major advantage in a time when a single assembly plant may be making three or four vehicles at the same time. Ford isn't far behind when it comes to automation investments. A new dirt detection system in its painting facilities creates a digital model of each vehicle that comes down the line. Those scans are compared to a master digital file similar to a CAD drawing that can detect flaws smaller than a grain of salt. The future of manufacturing, turning your paper-labeled boxes into smart containers with ProView. Eliminate paper labels and cards on cycling containers, providing automated tracking and dynamic visual interaction with operators. This system features a rugged e-paper screen that, unlike paper, can be changed dynamically, allowing operators to receive new instructions in real time for light speed corrections and process exception handling. These smart containers become immediately traceable, enabling real-time data collection on asset flow for advanced process analytics, and real-time accurate inventory counts are achieved with no manual counting. Find out more about ProView at OmniID.com. Earlier this year, Ford celebrated the 100-year anniversary of the moving assembly line. While it's unlikely that any of the innovations just mentioned will have such a critical impact on the industry, the big three certainly have recognized that faster iteration is critical to survival. We're likely to see each push further into robotics and additive manufacturing in the years to come. Perhaps in another 10 years, we'll see cars made completely out of 3D printed materials. It might sound crazy, but critics also thought Henry Ford's $5 workday was going to run his company into the ground. All these changes on the plant floor offer one key benefit. It's easier than ever for companies to make the same vehicles in the same ways all around the world. And it's easier to make more vehicles in the same facility too. Chrysler's Toledo plant builds up to four different models in the same line. And Ford has announced that by 2017, its plants will make an average of four models. As we've said again and again, it's never been more exciting in the automotive industry. 
it seems that every major player, and especially the big three, have realized the importance of innovating and investing in new technologies, both inside the plant and inside the vehicle itself. And it also seems like Ford, Chrysler, and GM are making the right investments too, based on current consumer trends. They're making vehicles that are more efficient than ever and instantly using new technologies to make those cars better or faster. In the years ahead, as American automakers are forced to compete against not only the established players in the Southeast, but also companies from Brazil or China hoping to sell cars here in America, expect to see more differentiation through technology. Right now, the most successful and talked about cars are the ones most packed with forward thinking. Tesla, despite its minuscule size compared to the big three titans, nabs a huge portion of the public's attention. And while some may still seem bent on killing the electric car, the company has proved that alternative energy is a possibility in the automobile. I'm sure that Musk would say that, simply put, no one else did it right before. The next 10 years will bring an enormous change to the automotive market. Expect to see the big three and a good portion of foreign companies bring electric cars to the market and expect those companies to make more and larger investments. On top of that, there's a good chance we'll start seeing automated vehicles out on the highways pretty soon. So don't be surprised if the driver in the lane over is playing Angry Birds during his morning commute. There's so much more we could talk about, but we'll have to leave it there. From Tia and I, and the rest of the people behind Manufacturing.net, we'd like to thank you for watching.